All right, round one, we're on the play. We'll play first. One lander, so we're going to mull that. Um, a lot of lands in here, but this is certainly an acceptable hand. Typhoid Rats and Douse and Gloom um, is, are, are good uh, cards to have in your opener, for sure. All right, opponent keeps at seven, so we'll keep started off with a little typhoid rat. So black, red, or blue, black. Let's see. I mean, it could also be like black, green and stuff. All right, black, green. Black, green's a little more unusual to see. Uh, ooh, Custodian's actually uh, kind of nice draw off the top there. We've got a nice little defense going at the moment, Typhoid Rat and Custodian. And I don't think green, black would have a ton of flyers. Besides dragons, I guess. Salt formation. All right. It's an interesting one. I think Profaner of the Dead is going to get a lot worse against a, uh, a salt formation. Ooh. It's a very nice douse and gloom opportunity. All right, sage is certainly an acceptable draw. So this would be a good time to see our our top end, our dragons, whether it be bell toll or the uh, ruthless death fang. Those would be pretty excellent draws at the moment. We're officially out of gas, which is. A bit of a problem, but our opponent's not pressuring us too much yet, so perhaps not an emergency. All right, Clossodon Yearling is still something I can attack into, which is kind of nice. All right, Silmgar Monument's actually a pretty good draw. I don't want to just throw my Sage away either. So we'll drop the Monument. And uh, play a land and pass. So now we have a little 4-4 flyer. If he leaves up his mana, I don't think it's worth activating because he probably has like Reach of Shadows or something. So I'd rather just keep swinging with Typhoid Rats. All right, well, um, he assigns damage equal to his toughness. That's right. Um, I forgot about Assault Formation. Well, you know what? I'm going to I'm going to block here then. Um it's better exploit fodder, but I'm kind of in the I'm on the hunt for some some draws at the moment. And ooh, Ogretai's breath is actually a pretty good one. All right, sign of Ugin. I think I am going to tap that down so I can start swinging with my uh my monument safely. All right, so lost our rats, which is definitely a bummer, but can't do anything about it. So 
will accept. Surveyor's not bad. I think that we just get in once again with the monument. Um, and he probably leaves back his scion, and then we'll bounce it with Surveyor, I guess. I mean, still not in a great spot, but I'm just going to get some damage in for now. I mean, if I draw Profaner of the Dead, I get to bounce his board, which is pretty good. But then again, I guess if he uses the Assault Formation, that could be an issue. So if I block there and he pumps twice, it still doesn't kill my Guardian, but I am taking quite a bit of damage. Take 10. Dutiful Attendant, all right. Still doesn't kill our guy though. All right, so if I swing with Monument again, he cracks back for lethal. So I do actually have to use Surveyor here. Bounce the big one, the uh, expensive one. Hmm. Um, I see. So if I block with the custodian, he gets to just replay his scion and then kill my custodian. So I think I just take the damage here. Okay. Ooh. Executioner. Unfortunately, not very good. Dutiful attendant at the moment. I see. Um, yeah, it's a bit of a problem. I guess we force him to block with Scion, but we don't even force him to block, do we? So if I attack with Monument, well, the problem is if I don't attack with Monument, he can just pump and then his guys, I can't kill him and his guys kill me. Um, so if I swing with Monument, he doesn't block. He goes to three. He activates this. He cracks with everything. I block his biggest dudes. I take two, five, seven. Yeah, I take lethal. That's too bad. All right, well, I think we're just going to lose, but I'll leave back the monument. I Unfortunately, I, I can't attack into that without just dying on crackback, so not much to be done there. Okay, so he can double pump, which means, pretty much means I lose 
everything regardless. We're going to chump block the big flyer. I kind of want to keep my monument for sure. I don't think there's any way I can keep my surveyor. So um, I can block maybe here. I guess there's no way to keep my monument. <laughs> there really isn't. He's got double pump, so I don't know what to do. Um, yeah, I think I'm just sort of toast. I lose everything. So I guess we block like that. So I at least kill something. I don't know. We're in a pretty bad spot. But we had a mulligan. Didn't draw that well. Opponent drew pretty well. So. Oh, I still die. That's right. Jeez. Was there any way I could have survived that? <laughs> I guess not. So that, that sucked. But what can you do? All right. So game two. Case in ice. I guess does work on the green creatures. So might as well bring that in. It's a way to stop up his uh what like I, I assume he's got some green fatties in there um i don't have anything well i can duress his assault formation but basically i get one turn to do it that's not very good um that might be all i've got contradict and duress are my only outs to that really um I have to make a cut for in case of ice. I still think Void Squall is actually pretty good. Douse and Gloom, maybe. No, Douse and Gloom is too important for sure shots. I don't know what I cut for in case of ice. Maybe I don't bring in the encase and ice. I kind of like all my removal more than encase. I could cut a creature for it. Maybe like an attendant. I guess I could see that. I can cut an attendant for it. I've still got double sage pals familiar. For And youthful scholar. Yeah, I've got enough. Let's just bring in another removal spell. All right, let's try this again. So we'll play first. Um, I can keep this, but obviously going to need some lands or face some difficulties. If we see a third land, though, we get the monument online, which is pretty good. Huh. It's pretty good to have on turn one. Land draw there was pretty good. Now we can go Monument into Drowner as just like a blocker, something like that. All right, custodian is something to do. I could play the custodian. Then next turn, play the monument. See, the problem with not playing custodian right now is that I can't block with it right away. So I want to be able to block with it next turn. I think I drop it now. That's fine. I'm not in a big rush to get the monument out. I mean, I want the monument, but... It's not, I mean, I don't see myself necessarily needing a Aven Surveyor next turn either.
Oh, wow. That guy's big. Might have to whisk away that. All right, missed the land draw there, which is kind of a bummer, but... Guess we gotta whisk away the Pitiless Horde. I don't wanna just drop Monument and take uh, five damage. All right, sure shot's not the end-all be-all. Uh, land draw there would have been good, but I didn't get it. So we'll drop the monument now. So now I really want to land draw so I can go Surveyor Bounce or Void Squall. Oh, and he just dashed it too. So I take like just a trillion damage instead. So, not looking good. I think we've got a pretty high chance of losing now, unfortunately, but missed a bunch of land draws and didn't pan out so well for me, unfortunately, but what can you do? All right, got the land draw now, but a little bit of the, a little bit of a case of too little too late. Um, so I can play Drowner as a second blocker. I can place, I think I more likely want to play Surveyor, bounce the sure shot. And that buys me a little bit of time to maybe get my, yeah, I think that makes more sense to get my Death Fang online. And then I can still double block his Pitiless Horde too. All right. So let's do that. I mean, I can Void Squall to buy a little bit more time, too, which is nice. Oh, that's a good draw. All right, let's, let's Douse and Gloom instead. We need to pass for the Pitiless Horde. All right, sign of Ugin is acceptable. Not looking that good there, though. Uh, I guess we just Void Squall the Scion, try and buy some more time until we can find our sixth land. Still, unfortunately, can't attack with Avon Surveyor because of Pitiless Horde. All right. Well, if he's got any sort of combat trick, we just lose the world, but I can't really afford to not... I mean, can I really afford to take five damage here? I don't think so. I've been leaving my surveyor back to do this block, so I think I'm just going to do it. All 
All right, Beastmaster's not the worst. Really would like to draw a land here, it'd be ideal. That's pretty unfortunate. Pretty unfortunate. Can't really afford to attack still, because I'd rather trade my Surveyor than my Morph for this Obscuring Aether. I mean, I didn't have to do that, but could have traded the, the Spell Eater, I guess. Don't know why I didn't play the Scion there. All right, Morph's pretty big deal. There's our land, so let's play the Death Fang now. Trying to think what his morph likely is. Maybe he just flips it up here so he can get the card. That would make sense. It's pretty bad for us. I'd say about as bad as it gets. So that's unfortunate, but these things happen. And he gets to draw a card, so yeah, I think we probably just lose now. I think it's pretty much over. More damage than I can afford to take. Pretty much have to use in case and ice, which is also really bad. Really wish he didn't have that draw either. Um, Typhoid Rats is fine. Um, we're in a pretty bad spot. I think I just played Typhoid Rats. And I leave up mana to mana leak his. Problem is, if he plays one more land, he can just slam Cyan of Ugin anyway. I can, I can in case an ice is Beastmaster, but... I think there's a pretty high probability he's got to land next turn. So I could just encase and ice the Beastmaster, I guess. And then block the morph. Take three. I think I have to do that. I think. If I don't do that, I guess the Typhoid Rats theoretically keeps the Beastmaster at bay. Let's just hope my opponent doesn't have a land. If I can counter Scion of Ugin, I feel like we maybe, 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 and that's stretching, have a shot. But I have lost pretty much most of my confidence possibly winning this match. The Pinion Feast was pretty much the nail in the coffin, unfortunately. Yeah, he did immediately slam the land, so... That sucks. All right. Well, I mean, I guess we can at least force him to pay the extra three so he can't uh, cast Cyan of Ugin. But we're in a pretty horrific spot now. All right. Still in a really bad spot. In fact, we're just dead. So... Nothing to be done. So pretty disappointed with the deck performance, but can't win them all. So I guess we're just headed back to Swiss, which is fine. Um, but yeah, disappointing performance by the deck. I wish we'd we'd uh, hit our sixth land a little bit quicker. I still think this was absolutely a 17 land deck with a monument. Um, it's not like our curve was ridiculous by any means. We had two six drops, two five drops, and everything else was four or less, which in my opinion, totally constitutes, especially since 
all of our two drops were draw card effects and uh we had plenty to do at three i think this was just fine at 17 lands so very disappointed that we couldn't hit the land drop for the death thing there but you can't win them all you can't draw uh the way you want every time and this uh match proves that so disappointed for sure uh, wish we'd gotten some value out of Death Fang. It didn't really do anything for us because we just played it too late and he killed it. Um, I wish that we had been able to do Profaner at some point, but we didn't. It just never got up. Um, I wish we'd uh, really got to do... I don't even think we exploited once. So never really got to do much with our deck beyond uh, get uh, thrashed pretty good, pretty good and quickly. So disappointed, but... That happens, so we'll uh, see you for the next draft.